and uh, do that we'll go into edge selection selection mode here so let's select uh, this edge here we want to go uh, from the arm hole here to the um, pelvis thing here and I want to go take the center line and select it right here so I can just select one and I believe I can just go up here which is um, go select continuous edges and it will select, select the entire thing depending on your um, the complexity of your model, this might not work, but for me it works, so okay, let's do the same thing, oops, let's do the same thing right there, so now we have both of those selected, uh, these are pretty much the only seams that you will have to do uh, to, get the, to get the UVs look correctly, so let's go in here, and uh, you can see now when we selected those edges, we also selected those edges in the UV texture editor, as you can see, all you select here, select here as well, which is very handy. So I have a shelf command up here, which is uh, chat UV edges. Uh, you can also uh, go up here, I believe. Actually, I'm not sure where you go to get that. I don't really use the menus a lot. It might be edit UVs here. Go edit UVs and uh, cat UV edges right here. So press that, and now you can see we have a thick line right here. Uh, so uh, you can also see that this hasn't changed at all. Uh, that's because we haven't unwrapped it yet, which is say that we haven't unfolded it yet. So we, to do that, we'll go into UV selection mode. Actually, we'll go into this window here, uh, and we'll go to UV selection mode. UVs basically they look like vertices, but they don't act like vertices. They are UVs basically. They represent the points. Uh, the UV points basically. So, uh, to do this, if we just unwrap it by pressing this sort of icon right here, or go to polygons and then unwrap or unfold rather, um, you can see what happens here. We get this, which this is okay. If you see the pattern here, it is a very nice pattern. The uh, the little things here are well, little things. The checkers here are very square and they actually don't have any real distortion going on well not that much this one has a bit but that will, we can fix later uh, so that's pretty that's pretty nice right but as you can see here the back is much smaller which uh, than the uh, front which creates that's why the checkers are so huge on the back here and that means that we have less texture resolution to work on the back and uh, that's bad, basically, that's real bad. We want to have generally the same size on the front and the back, so we can have the same amount of quality on our texture on the front and the back. So, to do that, let's undo that. And let's just say here, we select the top ones here, so let's, we are use selection mode, let's make sure that. Uh, let's deselect, or pin, this, which is the uppermost, and the bottommost on, on the front here, so let's deselect that. And what you will do now is this will actually pin these to its location. So when you un unfold it, those two won't actually move. Uh, so what you will see here when you unwrap this, or press the icon, it looks much better actually. Uh, it's, you can see that this has much more even, and this is actually a bit larger. Uh, and now you can see that we have a nice even texture right here. But as you can see, these are still way larger than this which we can now fix uh, by first of all we can just take this version here and we can pull it up a little bit maybe up, like up there and this will look weird now but it will look better right now uh, not right now, later on uh, so let's also set this one uh, because we will not want this one to shrink when we shrink when the, we will enlarge this one so let's also select the same ones that we did before uh, so let's select that one and uh, now we only have these so we have to inverse the selection so let's hold on shift and drag and this will inverse the selection so now we have everything but those selected which will pin them uh, so let's press unfold here and you can see now the back is much more like the front. The back is much larger, and it is it is still a little bit too big. So I might just um, go through and pull this up a little bit more, just a tiny bit, and select the same UVs as before. Inverse, 
and unwrap. So now, now they're pretty much the back is a little bigger, but that's no problem. And so, uh, as you can see now, you have this even checker pattern all over the place, uh, and uh, well, not here, but uh, that's really minor distortion, which we can actually live with, uh, just for for the sake of it. I'll go through and select several, a couple of verses, uh, verses, a couple of UVs at a time, and unwrap them. Um, so okay, there we go. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. Actually, we have the complete torso unwrapped, and organic pieces are easier to unwrap. They are. Uh, I I like to call it unwrap and not the UV map because the UV map is, I don't know. I would like to say that. I think that unwrap sounds fancier. So okay, never mind. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I will make a, another tutorial for the legs and one for the arms as well. And my one for the hands. So okay. That's about pretty much it. Thanks for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed my content and uh, please comment if you can because that means a lot to me. So okay. Uh, bye.